So with the release of the Canon 90D, a lot of people were disappointed in the video features that were removed from this camera. One of the big features that was removed was the ability to shoot in 24, at least 23.98 um, frames per second. So in the wake of that, Canon released new firmware uh, um, for this camera to try and fix this. What is more interesting for me is to see if Canon has also reintroduced all eye compression on something like the ADD, at least we had that. So to do the firmware upgrade, just make sure you have a freshly charged battery and that you've copied over the firmware files to a memory card. Chuck that in there. For some reason, Canon says in the firmware update manual for this um, camera, you should have it in P mode. Go into the menu functions. Under the, the setup menu on the fifth page, you're supposed to be able to see a firmware version option. At the moment, we can't see this. So all we do is just at the top here, switch from uh, video mode to this live view stalls mode. Go back into the menu and there we go. We can see our current firmware. Click on that. And now got a memory card in there with the new firmware on it. And it's gonna ask me to update the firmware and hopefully I don't break the camera. Let's do that. And we wait. All right, and there we go. Can now update the firmware to 1.1.1. And let's do that. Yeah, so I want to update to 1.1.1. And we wait again. Wow, okay, so that actually took quite a while. And for a moment there, I got worried if it sort of feel that like it was hanging around 3% done. But here we go, so it's all completed. Let's see what we get. Right. I was gonna power cycle the camera. I guess proof will be in the pudding. Let's switch over to video mode, go into the menu and see what we have now. The new improved Canon 90D. All right, so movie quality. Go in there and we can see, here we go at 4K, we've got an option of 23.98 and also in full HD mode. But still, as I thought, no all eye compression. Everything is still IPB inter-frame compression and no intra-frame compression like you get with all eye. I was going to switch over to um, PAL mode because I was in NTSC mode there just to see what's happening then. Menu, span out. Switch over to PAL. Movie record options. Obviously under PAL mode you can't see your new 23.98 P version, and still all the um, record sizes in here are all still IPB as well. So what's my big gripe with this camera not having all eye compression? Firstly, the ADD that this camera was supposed to be replacing had that option. All eye compression gave us files of roughly around 90 megabits per second at 1080, uh, whereas on this, you'll be lucky to get around 30. So it's basically a third less information per file. Roughly how it works is with all eye compression. Each frame is recorded as is. It's a key frame on its own and um, compression is applied within that frame. But with IPB compression, what happens is you have a group of pictures. You have a frame that gets recorded as a key frame beginning and the end of the sequence. And all the frames in between basically just records the changes between frames based on various forms of interpolation and prediction. So if you're gonna be recording something like an interview, we have a person sitting quite still, and it should be okay because you don't have a lot of movement or a lot of change per frame, so it will make sense there. But the moment you start recording anything else, we have any form of movement or complex scenes or a lot of detail in the scenery, you'll quickly run into the limitations of low bitrate. It's stepping back in technology, it's not moving forward. We have cameras like the Fuji X-T3 allowing you to shoot at up to 400 megabits per second if you want to in the new H.265 um, file format. And on the Sony's you also have quite high bit rates, so why hobble it and move back? 
I really hope that they'll be rolling out all eye compression as an option, even if it's just limited to um, 25, 24, and 30p like it was on the um, ADD.